What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be going through a couple commands with you guys because I've noticed a lot of comments on my recent videos have been about people not understanding um, how to use operator status, how to basically give themselves stuff, change their game mode, change the time, the weather. Uh, there's just a lot of things you can do with commands in the game that I'm just going to give you guys the basics, like the very, very basic way to use commands. So, the first goal is, here's the server, I just started it up, uh, normal Minecraft 1.14 server, so what we're going to do is we're going to join it, the way that I would do that, if you guys don't know, since I'm hosting it on my own computer, all I have to do is type a zero, and hit join, and it puts me right into the world. I don't know why everyone's getting so confused over what to type in right there, but if you're hosting the, if you're hosting the server, on the same computer that you're trying to play on like I am right now you don't need to type any crazy IP address you don't I mean zero will work so just type in zero and if you have it on a different port you have to put the port after it but for our purposes right now zero will work just fine to get in your own Minecraft server so once you're in now I can't do any commands if I try to if I try to time set zero then nothing works so what I'm gonna do is I have to opt myself. So what you do is you have to go into the server console, which is this thing right here, okay? And then you want to type in OP and then your username. My username is Brad6305. So I'm going to go op Brad6305. And if we go back to the server, you can see down here it says that the server has made me an operator, which now means that I have access to basically every single command on the server. I am now effectively an admin of this server. So, well, let's kill this one. <laughs> All right. So now, if we want to deop somebody, you can do the same thing. Now, from here on out, we don't actually have to run any of the commands in the console anymore. We can actually run them all in game just by typing them down here, um, because we're opt. Now, to deop somebody, so I'm sitting here editing this. And I'm thinking to myself, like, all right, I'm telling you guys the very, very basic, basic stuff about these commands, but I didn't. I didn't tell you guys that in the server console, you do not put the slash before any command that you type. But if you're typing it in the Minecraft chat, so this is where you type all the commands, is in the Minecraft chat if you're in-game, you would precede it with a backslash. Every single command needs to be preceded with a backslash. If you don't put the backslash, it's just going to type into the chat like a message. So hopefully that clears that up. You would type in diop and then their username. So that's going to deop me. So now I'm not going to be able to op myself again from here. See? I'm going to have to go back into where was the server? The server is right here. And then I have to type in op brad 6305 once again. And now I'm a server operator. So that's pretty simple. Now. I'm going to show you guys the teleport command. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody else in my server right now that I can teleport to, but I'll show you guys the syntax and how it works. And in order to use any of these commands, you need to be opt on the server. If you guys want to set up permission systems so people don't need to be opt but can still use commands, you're going to have to use some permission manager, but you're not going to be able to do that on a vanilla server. You're going to need to use spigot or bucket or something in order to load those plugins for you. But since we're on a normal vanilla server, operator status is all you need. Sorry about my phone. I'm going to mute that. But, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the TP command. So to teleport to someone, you would type slash TP and then your name. So think of it like this. You know, to do a Minecraft username as well, you can just type the first letter of it like this. And it'll give you a list of all the names above it. It's a nice thing about 1.14. And you can just click tab and space. All right, and now let's say I want to teleport myself to somebody else. We'll, we'll call the other person somebody else. All right, and if I wanted to teleport me to them, it's always the first person that travels to the second person. So this, if I was to hit enter right now, would effectively teleport me to that other person. So it's not going to do it because obviously there's no one in here named that. But if, if there was somebody else in here, you would place their username uh, right here you replace it right there and uh, okay 
so that's the TP command. That's pretty simple. And if you want to teleport someone to you, you would just switch these. You know what I mean? You'd put somebody else teleporting to me. Alright, so that's the teleport command. I wish I could show you guys a good example of that, but like I said, there's nobody else in my server right now. Um, let's do the kick command next. So let's say there's someone in your server and you don't want them in there. You can type kick and then a username, and it should kick them from the server. See? Kicked by an operator. So let's go back in. And you can do the same thing. You can do slash ban. So let's say I want to ban somebody so that they can't rejoin the server. Well, ban them. I am banned from the server. Let's try to rejoin. Not going to happen. So, in order to remove us from the ban list, we're going to have to go back into the server. And we're going to have to go unban. Okay, so I had the command wrong. It's not unban. It's called pardon. I've never had to do this before. So, you would type pardon. This is going to pardon the ban, so you type in brad6305 is my username, so this is going to effectively unban me from my own server. So we're going to click that, and it says unbanned brad6305. So now I should be able to rejoin the server. No problem, just like I was in here before. So I was banned, now I'm not. So you can do the same thing here, you type in pardon, and then you type the name. But effectively, I'm not banned anymore, so let's, uh, let's just ban someone random. So let's just ban my, my alt. So now... Carbon2141 can no longer join this server, but if I want to let them join this server, instead of unban, you type in pardon, and then you type in Carbon2141, and now they're unbanned, and they can rejoin. So that's how that works. Um, there is a way that you can ban someone's IP address, so let's say they have multiple alt accounts they're trying to join your server on, and you don't want to have to ban every single one of them. You can go ban IP, and then you would type in uh, the name and the reason. But I'm not going to do that right now. But effectively, that bans their IP address. So now any computer that tries to join from that same IP address, no matter what account they are on, will not be able to join. Now, I'm pretty sure you can undo that the same way that you can undo um, anything else. So let's just go back and let's reban Carbon. And I want to show you guys that you can, if you don't know who's banned on your server, you can check the ban list. So go to slash ban list, and it'll tell you right here, Carbon2141 was banned, and it tells you the reason. I didn't put a reason. If you want to put a reason, uh, let's pardon him and reban him real quick. And then we'll ban him again, and we'll say testing. So now it says we banned him for testing, and now if I go back up to the ban list, it'll say that he was banned and the reason was testing. So you can put reasons why they're banned, and other people and other admins on your server can see that later on if they check the ban list. So that's useful. Um, the next command I'm going to show you is going to be the list command. The list command will tell you everybody that's online of your Minecraft server. So obviously I have a maximum of 20 players, there's one online, and it tells me that it's me. That's pretty useful. Let's say if you're not in the server and you want to check who's on it, you can come into the console and type list, and it will tell you who's on the server. So that's that's pretty useful. I use that every now and then to check to check if there's anyone online. Uh, the help command, that's pretty self-explanatory. I should have done this first. But help basically will tell you everything that you can do. And uh, I'm only showing you some of these right now, but you can go through this later on your own and, and try them all out and figure out what they all do. Alright, so the next command I'm going to show you guys is going to be the whitelist. Um, basically, the whitelist is a list of players who are allowed to join the server. And if the whitelist is enabled, nobody that is, n basically anybody not on that list will not be allowed in. So what you need to do is, if you want to make it so that only a select number of people can join your Minecraft server, you can protect it from others that are going to come in and grief, and you can set it. So let's say you only want like you and your friends to join, you would add all of your friends to this list and then enable it. So the way that you would do that is you type in whitelist, add, and then I'll put my name on it. So now Brad's added to the whitelist. So now if I turn the whitelist on, now the whitelist is on. So the only people that can join the server are going to be me. If anybody else tried to join right now, they're going to get met with a message saying you're not currently whitelisted. I'm sure you've seen that before. Now, you can turn it back off just as easy by going whitelist off. And you can remove people from the whitelist easy too, just by going whitelist remove. 
and then the name again. So now I'm no longer on the whitelist. And you might even be able to list it. Yeah, whitelist list will list who's on the whitelist. See, there's no whitelisted players. If I re-whitelist myself and then I do the whitelist list, it'll tell me there is one whitelisted player, and it's me. So only I can join the server right now. And that's how the whitelist works. Um, the next one that we're going to move on to is going to be called uh, Default Game Mode. So when you join into the server, uh, you're going to be put into survival mode. Now you can change that. If you want your server to be creative mode all the time, and you don't want people to ever be put into survival mode, you can set the default game mode to spawn you in in survival. Um, what you have to do is you would go default game mode, and then you can say creative. All right. So now when you join the server for the first time, it's going to put you into creative mode so that you don't need an operator or an admin to do that manually. It'll automatically put you into creative. Um, there's also an option in the server properties called force game mode, and that will change your game mode to whatever that is when you come in, no matter what. Right now, I believe if I leave and I come back, I'll still be in survival mode because that force game mode is not on. See, if that setting was enabled on my server, it would have forced me into creative mode when I joined but it did not because that setting was disabled um the next one that you can change i believe is difficulty so now obviously we can change it peaceful hard normal this is how you would do that on the server level so if you didn't want any mobs in your server you can set it to peaceful now we have no mobs so i don't think we'll see any if we like we got attacked by a zombie earlier but if we want run around now, there shouldn't there shouldn't be any mobs spawning anywhere. See, well, those are uh, passive mobs. Um, no hostiles. So you can change it. Let's go to hard. Oops, I threw my sword down. Noob mistake. Um, now there should be stuff spawning, and you can starve to death, and you know all the stuff that comes with hard mode. So that's how you can change the server difficulty. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory as well. The next one, the next one I'm going to show you guys is something really, really useful if you guys are trying to configure your world. Let's say, you know, you die and you want to keep all your stuff. So, normally when you die in Minecraft, you would lose all your stuff. It would pop on the ground and, uh, it, you would lose everything. So if you want to keep all your stuff, you have to set up something called a game rule. So you type in game rule. There's so many game rules that you can put, as you can see in this list. And look, we actually happen to get our first zombie coming up on us right now. So yeah, obviously changing the difficulty worked. Um, so let's go back and I'll show you guys all the options in the game rule. So there's so much stuff that you can change in here. You can change the weather cycle. You can change uh, fire ticking, entity drops, the daylight cycle, electra movement. So much stuff. But the one, oh yeah, hard mode's really treating us well right now. Let's see if we can get this back to peaceful. Look, instantly disappeared because we put it on peaceful. So let's just change the game rule, and we're gonna go keep inventory and we're gonna say true that right there is gonna make it so that when we die we don't lose all of our stuff let's test that out real quick let's just jump to our death since I changed that game rule we should respawn with all of our stuff and look at that we have all of our stuff and we respawn right under our end portal So now if I was to turn keep inventory to false, and then you know I was to do that same thing, all my stuff should get thrown out onto the ground. Yep, there it all is. Now I have nothing in my inventory and I gotta go pick it all back up. Bam, 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 bam. Throw that back there. Okay. So, yeah, that's how that works. Um, game rule is a very, very useful one if you guys want to 
you know, set up your server to do something special. There's a bunch you can do. Like, if you didn't want rain to come, you could do the weather cycle. Or if you didn't ever want it to become nighttime, you could do the day-night cycle. So, you can guys can look through there, and you really can figure out how you want to configure your server and set the game rules up according to, according to how you want.